in the trailer and gameplay footage we've seen so far, which was quite a lot from Tom Clancy Division 2, I've noticed there are quite a lot of new and improved features and mechanics in the game, so it actually feels like a sequel to the previous game. Besides the new setting, I've also seen communities across the world, control points to be captured, specializations like the crossbow, raids, and much, much more. If I've piqued your interest, make sure to keep watching as I'm breaking it all down. Let's start with the new setting, even though it's not a real feature, but The Division 2 takes place 6 months after the Green Poison pandemic, in the midst of summer. This change of scenery is very nice, as we're also relocating to Washington DC, the capital of the US of course. We see both urban and natural environments with different kind of friendlies and hostiles. And for me this change of scenery just makes a big difference. Across Washington DC, communities are scattered with civilians, growing their own crops and patrolling the borders with rifles. Within these communities are people that need help, and it takes the form of side missions, probably other types of missions as well, like we saw with the control point. For example, you could retrieve medicine for the kids or any other type of resource. Besides that, you need to capture control points across the map. These are specific areas that are held by a certain faction. For example, the True Sons. Here in the gameplay, we can see that the crashed plane, that's a control point. It's captured by the True Sons, an enemy faction, and you need to get it back. You need to defeat them, capture the control point, and afterwards you can upgrade it or supply it by supplying water, food, and something with, with the bolts, some scraps or something. And civilians will actually fight with you and guard the control point afterwards. And you can go to the local officer of that specific control point, give him water, food and scraps or whatever it is. And then you can upgrade that control point. A new addition to the game are specializations. After reaching level 30, you can specialize in one of three divisions, each with a different signature weapon like we already saw. The survivor with the crossbow, the demolition with the grenade launcher, and the sharpshooter with the 50 cal sniper rifle. They did this to make the end game a bit more interesting and to have a bit more diversity and progression because you can also invest in some other, I don't know what, skills, but you can go deeper into the specializations. Another very, very interesting feature are raids. We've had incursions and legendary missions, but they were always with four people. In the Division 2, there is a new type of mission, 8 player raids. We don't know anything about it at this time, sadly, but this should add a lot more challenge and depth to the end game. In the name of the player and in the main menu, we could see a feature that looked like clans. In the game footage, the agents are part of the same clan or group called the ETF or Elite Task Force. We don't know any more, but it could be interesting to form your own clan. There are of course also new factions in the game like the True Sons, but these enemies also have new features or mechanics in their gameplay. Though the gameplay was scripted, it looked like enemies are smarter in the gameplay and less bullet spongy. They use skills like this foam tray that traps Megan. It has to be shot down by any squad mate. So this adds another layer of tactical play. The officer, the heavy tank NPC, has weak points that can be shot, breaking down his armor and bringing him down to his knees even. These weak points on other NPCs can also shock them and it shows that Massive Entertainment at least took note of the fact that enemies shouldn't alone be bullet spongy but also have some in-depth gameplay behind them. Let's hope this is just the surface and let's hope they have more interesting stuff for us in store. Other content that I didn't fit into this video are the weapons and their talents, their mods and stats, the gear, brands, gear sets and skills. I'll be making separate videos on those as they, as we can go quite in depth with them, so keep an eye out for that. Before ending the video, I want to know what is your favorite new feature or mechanic that was shown in the newly released trailers and gameplays. And with that, I'm leaving you. Thank you for watching and peace out.